My friends, what is up? I am so glad to see you again. We're going to talk about something goofy, something weird, something that never should have had a comeback, but it did, and I am here for it just because cassettes. Cassette tapes. A lot of bands have been doing cool stuff with cassette tapes. Friend Club Records has been doing some great things with cassette tapes. Uh, we'll show you a little bit of the ones I have so far. I have the Touche Amore set with Lament, Stage 4, is Survived By, Parting the Sea Between Brightness and Me, and To the Beat of a Dead Horse. Haven't opened it yet, but I will. I've had it for a little while now. we got some old Waylon Jennings. Uh, let's see, what else we got here? Amigo the Devil, Rarities Cassette. King 810, I think I'm their only fan. The Queen EP. Some Cleveland Hardcore. We got that Last Gasp. Second wave and their demo. So nice, nice one there. And then when I was at Furnace Fest, they had some Furnace Fest exclusive cassettes. So we picked up Narcissus and we picked up some Emery. So we got the Emery set there as well. Ugh, as I throw everything across the room. And they're just cool. Like, they're nice little collectibles to have. Like, black with, like, a bluish label. So this is one. We got a red one. So just something fun and different. Now, also from Friend Club Records, I ordered this. Now, I already opened it because this is my third attempt at making a video that I don't get interrupted in. Came with a sticker. Fuck stigma. On the back, Josh, thanks for the order. You got the last one. So very happy about that. Uh, Rob over at Friend Club Records shared in the Furnace Fest friends group uh, that he had one left of Two Parts Viper by 68. So I snagged it up as quick as I could because why not? I had wanted to grab it, nice neon green, and I was able to. He also threw in this nice hockey card of Kelly Kisio. He's a center. I only know that because it says it on the back. But Josh, what are you going to do with all these cassettes? Well, I'm glad you asked. Because who has a cassette player anymore? Am I right? I don't have a cassette player. And it took me back to the old days of remembering when my parents had a nice little portable cassette player radio and all that so I decided Josh wouldn't it be nice if you had a nice portable radio that you could take out into the garage when you're working on things that you could take out to the front yard when you're mowing the lawn between uh, between mowing the lawn you could listen to your cassettes just like the good old days so I ordered this bad boy. The Crosley CT200 Bluetooth radio cassette player that looks just like something your parents would have had way back when. So this little throwback, if I can get out of the box here, you can plug it into a wall, you can throw some batteries in it. <laughs> this is actually pretty cool. Uh, it definitely like brings back memories that's wild so there we go look how old school that looks that is cool now the other envelope I opened was batteries which hopefully I didn't underestimate how many this thing would take damn alright let's do this here One battery, two batteries, I don't even know if I've used C cell batteries, so these are C's in years. Let's hear it for videos that are too long, that are only long because instead of doing this and then starting the video. I decided to start the video and then do this. 
and I can't get the damn batteries in. So that's cool. But the main thing is, I want to be able to highlight the sound. So, if we can all, or I could just learn to edit my videos, that would probably be in everyone's best interest. Nailed it! Come on. Okay. Did I do it right? FM. Oh, look at that. That is cool. Dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. This song is like fitting. It's fitting because it's a damn radio. Where'd that station go? I want that back. Okay, anyway, I've already wasted enough of your time, am I right? So, if I go to tape here, and I hit the eject button, stop eject, let's grab one of these bad boys, shall we? We're at six minutes. This is not my longest video yet. Probably just most my most boring one that everyone would be like, why did I do this? All right. Put the volume up a little bit here. All right, guys. Reintroducing yourself to cassette tapes. How rad is that? Are we gonna have anything playing here? There we go. What? I dig it. This is cool. I'll have to come back and rewind this in a little bit. Let's hear something a little lighter so we have an idea of what to expect with a lighter sound. I feel like 68 is pushing it when I say light, but let's try it. Why not? Are you ready? This is literally the dumbest video I've ever done. I apologize and I appreciate you for, if you're still with me, I appreciate it. Some unique cassette tapes. These are done by Friend Club Records. Again, I'm going to drop their link in the description below. They have an awesome collection of stuff. They still have some Furnace Fest bands left over. But also keep an eye out on some of your favorite bands. They're dropping EPs on cassette. They're dropping albums on cassette. Super wild to see it go back like that. But the Crosley... Let's see, what it is again? CT200. Just look how cool that looks. I cannot wait to utilize this to its full potential. It has Bluetooth, it has radio, it has cassettes. I am here for it. Thank you so much for sticking around. I apologize for how haphazard this video was, but I wanted to share this with you.